Penny Lowe's Rebecca here. Hope everyone's doing well. What you just heard was the Ert NKC1 T style guitar. As usual, before we get started, if you could please like, subscribe, and hit the notification so you can get all the latest news in real time. Um, oh, and before I forget, this is not a sponsored video, so everything I'm going to say is out of this little thing. Well, I've had this guitar for about a month now. I first became familiar with Erk guitars through seeing some of my colleagues online posting about them, and um, I was really interested because reading features it's got some incredibly high-end appointments on it and um so always willing to take a bullet for you guys i thought to myself let's just try it out and see see how it goes so i bought the guitar and um you know i do like uh telly i like the simplicity of it and um so i went with this one which um came incredibly quickly they actually sell through amazon or their own private website so that's that's a good um, that's a good start. So let's talk about the specs briefly. I'm not going to bore you with thousands of details because I think you can just go online and do your own research. But some of the things that really wowed me were um, oh, you've got a mahogany body. I think it's a looking at it. I think it's probably it's a three piece mahogany body, which is perfectly fine. Um, there's guitars that cost three times as much that use three-piece mahogany body, so that's not an issue at all. You have a maple veneer, it looks nice, it's got a nice flame to it, um, so that's not an issue. Um, it's just purely an aesthetic reason to put a veneer on it. Uh, then in terms of control and pickup layout, very standard tally style. You've got a three-saddle bridge. I can tell you what brand it is, but um, yeah, it looks okay. Um, the pickups are ceramic pickups, which is quite common in the price range, but we'll talk about the pickups um, during the review. Um, first thing I really like, the um, wheel truss rod adjustment. So rather than being at the head of the guitar, it's here. And to be honest, every single manufacturer should do that. I don't see a reason why they shouldn't. It just makes life so much easier if you need to adjust your truss rod on the go. Um, talking about adjusting the neck, the neck is the second thing that wowed me. So you've got a roasted maple neck. It looks really nice. It's got a nice satin finish to it, so it's not sticky at all. Um, neck carve is really comfortable. It's not big, so it's, it's kind of medium to small, but it's an incredibly comfortable neck. I really like the neck. Um, then you have stainless steel frets, which again, out of this world for a guitar of this price. Um, stainless steel frets, you've got some very good tuners. Um, they're unbranded, but I understand they are Korean made tuners. And you know what? They work very, very well. I would see no reason to upgrade those. They work really well. I kind of like, I don't know if you can see it, kind of like the funky shape of them. They're nice, they feel great. The ratio is actually really good. And um, that's about it in terms of specs. But what I wanted to say, and this for me is the real, the real game changer here. Um, I would have bought this guitar just for the neck. The frets on this instrument are fantastic. Stainless steel, yes, but it's what the care and detail that they've taken to round these off. Polished to perfection. There's no fret sprout whatsoever. They are soft, literally incredible. The neck makes or breaks a guitar. Um, not only is the neck shape and carve perfect, but the frets are incredible. So forget about all of this. I would have spent exactly the same money just for this neck. And just, I would put this neck on all my guitars, to be honest. It's an incredible neck. And to top it off, I forgot to mention, this is a bone nut. I'm actually, you know, still surprised how they managed to put all this stuff on a guitar, which is around 300 pounds. Um, but yeah, 
The bottom nut is cut very, very well. Again, if you just put your finger on the third fret and see the action, it's actually perfect. It's cut very, very well on all sides. It's the slots are even, smooth, and cut very, very well. So I am so impressed by this neck, including the nut. It's it's unbelievable. So that for me um, was already a winner. I have no words to describe how good this neck is. And if all the guitars are like this, I will you know buy them all because they're this neck is unbelievable. But what we can do now is just go through some of the sounds on, and sit, talk about the pickups and the controls, and um, then I'll give you my final thoughts. But um, for the moment, if you really wanted to turn off, but please don't, just know that this is the best neck I've ever tried in my life. End of story. Okay guys, so what do I think about this guitar? The fit and finish is very good. There are no tool marks on the neck. The paint job is very, very good. There are no blemishes that I can see. It's a very, very clean guitar. And bear in mind that this came directly from Amazon. The body shape is a nice modern version of a traditional Telecaster. You will see that it's slightly thinner than a traditional Tele. Um, it also has a nice contour here and the neck joint is very solid. We obviously spent a bit of time earlier on talking about the neck and the neck is its biggest selling point. It's great. I really honestly have never seen frets done this well on this price range. It's very, very good. I think they're perfectly on par with Sire, who's also another brand that's doing really nice frets. Um, and these are stainless steel, so incredible job. The hardware is overall very solid. The tuners are good. Um, look at the controls. Um, they feel very, very good. They've got a very smooth taper, both volume and tone. Um, the switch seems okay. It's good quality switch. I've opened this baby up for the purpose of this video just to check what um, components were inside. And I was actually very, very surprised that these are two full sized pots and they are standard Korean made. So they are very good quality. Um, you wouldn't necessarily expect that on a 300 pound instrument. So that is very, very reassuring to see. Um, the bridge is very traditional in style. Um, it took me a little while to get used to the fact that these side parts here are not flat or flush to the body. So when I was resting my hand on it and palm muting, it felt a bit strange. It wasn't uncomfortable, but it just felt a bit out of the ordinary. Um, but I must say after playing it for a few hours, that went away very quickly. The pit guard is nice. I like the fact that it's an off-white, it almost goes into a slight 
green color, which just adds a bit of that vintage vibe to the instrument. Um, I think the biggest thing we now need to talk about are the pickups. Um, if we start from the neck pickup, the first time I picked the guitar up and plugged it in, I went to the neck pickup and my initial impression was that it was very, very dark. Um, I lowered it slightly in order to get a bit more clarity and I must say maybe my ears got used to it but um, I don't dislike it. I think it's a question of getting used to it and what application you want to use it in um, for jazz chords or lead lines it actually sounds very good it's very open but on the dark side so that's something just to bear in mind um, it's not a massive issue because if you eq your amp slightly differently then you can get around that very easily but just something to bear in mind if you don't particularly like a dark neck pickup then you might consider replacing this the bridge pickup is exactly what you'd expect from a telly it's a ceramic, but it's quite vintage in tone. So it's a medium to low output pickup, but has that typical tele twang, but can drive very easily if you push the amp a little bit. Um, so I very much like the bridge pickup. Obviously, like all tellies, like all good tellies, it can be a little sharp sometimes, so you just need to roll down your tone a little bit. Um, quite the opposite to the neck, actually. Um, but that's what it's supposed to do, so I very much liked it. Um, I'm usually not a middle position kind of person. <laughs> but I must say, actually, because they're two very extreme pickups, so one's very dark and one's very bright, I kind of find the middle position on this guitar to work really well. So um, I played in the middle position for quite a lot of the intro to this video and I, it, it actually is a very good combination. So that's, that's a big plus for me. I mean, overall, will I keep these pickups? I think I will definitely keep them for the moment. It's, um, I don't see any reason why you might want to change them immediately. If obviously you have a specific set of tele pickups that you'd like, then it's fine to change them. But these will be okay for most applications. You can gig with them. They are solid pickups. So I've got no complaints around them. Um, maybe one day if I want something new, I, you know, it's a fairly easy mod to do. You just swap the pickups. But for the moment, I think I'm going to stay with them. Um, another very, very important point, which is also incredibly surprising considering that I bought this through Amazon, is that the setup was spot on. There was no need to adjust the action. The action came very low. There was no fret buzzing. It was very, very well set up. Um, exactly how I'd like it um, on the low side, but I really appreciate that. Often you'll find the manufacturers will ship out guitars with a high action to avoid any buzzing, stuff like that. But um, I can assure you that there is no buzzing all on the neck. The neck is perfectly straight. Um, there's very little neck relief. So it's a great playing guitar. They must have obviously been very confident in their work and rightly so because the guitar came with very low action and it played perfectly. So I did absolutely nothing to it. So guys, I hope this video was useful. Um, just to sum it up, this guitar is very, very good for its price range. I think it's very good for any price range. I really am always a bit um, skeptical about people saying, oh, for 300 pounds, it's a good guitar. No, this is a good guitar regardless of the money. The neck, as I said, is one of the best necks I've ever tried. Um, regardless of any price range, has perfectly rounded stainless steel frets and it has a bone nut, it has quality hardware, um, it's a very very good guitar. Fit and finish was good and the setup was out of the box incredible. I really don't see what else you might want in life but um, go check the Earth Guitars website and definitely let me know if you've got any comments or questions below and um, I'll keep playing and enjoy your day.